Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November. This is just a general reading. It's for somebody. It's not for every single person. So if it doesn't resonate with you, maybe next week, you know, or whatever. This is for somebody, not everybody. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, I found out that a lot of people don't know what their sun sign is. They hear it and they, I mean, I get this question a lot. And part of my group, I have a group on Facebook, I ask people what their sun sign is, and they're like, I don't know. Well, you're watching something on YouTube right now. How'd you get here? That's your zodiac sign. Your zodiac sign is your sun sign or a star sign. Okay? So that's, that's this little bit of tidbit that somebody needs to know. Your star sign, your sun sign, that's your zodiac sign. Okay? Generally, I focus on love. We'll see whatever comes up. Again, this reading may not be yours. It may be. We'll find out. Mm, three of Cups. Three of Cups. That's happiness. There could be a celebration of some sort. You could be receiving some money or an offer from somebody. Ooh, Five of Swords. Oh, with the Eight of Cups reversed. There's some power struggles here. There may be some power struggles because somebody has walked away. Maybe you want them to come back. I don't know. Whoever this is that's causing you struggles, they're very controlling, right? They are manipulative. This is saying that you need to go within to find your answers. You need to dig deep, Libra. You may need to retreat for a little bit to go within to find some answers. You may feel like something something may hurt. There could be something that has died. And you need to take steps in a new direction. Ooh, there's a lack of completion here. You may be feeling empty and lost. There's some sort of recognition here. Confusion. And then we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a man, could be any sign. So Libra, it looks like you're receiving some messages. You are receiving some messages from the other side. Okay, you are. They could be coming through to you as thoughts or dreams or gut feelings, something like that. You do have this psychic ability during this time, okay? You, but it may, you may be confused about what you're hearing. You may be receiving messages, but you may be confused because there's illusion here. You know, there is some illusion here. Our heart wants what it wants, right? Sometimes our heart makes us, you know, you know, this is pride, you know, this is ego, it is, our heart wants what it wants, even though it may not be practical, I'm just saying, anyhow, there's a lack of completion here, Wanting somebody to come back. I think you want somebody to come back, Libra. You do. Even though this person hurt you. And it probably is an illusion. Maybe a fantasy. 
you still want them to come back. Hoping probably for a reunion of some sort. But this is a celebration. There even could have been a third party situation here. And you're hoping that they're going to choose you. This is making progress in love. Open your heart. We have a man here, Libra, that has love to offer you. If you are a Libra woman, there is a man here that has really good intentions and can see victory with you. This person recognizes your nobility, okay? But you may be confused because you're incomplete with somebody that has walked away. You do have a new offer. You do have a new offer here. But some sort of fantasy and illusion and confusion is hindering you. Ooh. Now, this person is connected. See, I never know where I'm going to put the cards. This person can help you to heal from this person that brought you down. It's time to open your heart again. It's time to leave that past hurt behind. It is. Because you have a new opportunity for love. You will find that you feel relieved when you do let this person in and you learn to forgive and move on. I see that you're reluctant. But this is a stable offer. And it's something that you manifested. And you may have even put a name on that manifestation, right? Because that's what you do. This ain't my first merry-go-round. But the universe knows what is best. And they know what's in the script. Even though you think you may know, that's an illusion. This is part of the written script. This change, of course, is part of the script. You may have been manifesting love with a name, but I think that you have manifested something new. Whether you like it or not, that's what I think this is. I'm also a channeler. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. This magician is a person that uses the resources within them to shed the old, to bring success to their lives. They shed the old. To bring victory and success, success, victory and success, victory and success. After you let go of that old idea, that dead end situation. This is a dead end situation right here. And it takes a lot, all those resources, it takes strength, it takes compassion, it takes self-love, it takes perseverance, it takes willpower, it takes, the magician is the sum of every card, really. All the resources within to bring success. And this is what has happened. There's a divine connection being brought to you. 
And you are being called to let go of the past baggage, the past burden that you have been hanging on to. It's a time to break free. from that dead-end situation, whatever it is, that you have been thinking was going to come back. Happiness will come when you break free. You've kept yourself trapped in an empty situation because of rejection because of pride because of illusion if the time is now to allow somebody to love you stop carrying around that heavy baggage You may have been naive with this illusion and you may still be afraid to take a risk with someone new thinking that this person's eventually going to come back. I can't get involved with someone new because, you know, this person's going to come back. This person is not coming back. There's something going on behind the scenes here. It's something that you don't know. It's an illusion. It's a fantasy. That's what this is. Escaping escapism. The moon is a fantasy. It's your own thoughts thinking that you will find happiness with this one person that left. That's not true. That's not true. There's an opportunity for new love if you could take a risk and allow it to unfold. It's divinely guided. You have to find that strength and willpower and discipline to allow, to let go. Stop hanging on to something that's a ended. It's ended. That's a death. It's ended. Stop holding on to it. There's a new door that is waiting for you to go through it. But you have this fear of change. You keep restricting yourself. You're letting yourself be held back. Why? Because you don't have confidence? This is victim mentality. You may see yourself as a victim here. Let go of that. This is pessimism as well. Why don't you let yourself be optimistic about a new beginning? I see that you're very undecided here. Back and forth, back and forth. I, can't, I want love. I want to be loved. I know I deserve love. But if I fall in love or if I go with someone else and get in a relationship and so-and-so comes back, then I'm stuck. It's time for you to put yourself first. Stand up for yourself. Release what no longer serves you. You can't, there's no need to fight for something that isn't coming back. It's time to give up on that dead-end situation. It's not coming back. And you have a better suitor. 
You do. Somebody that is better suited for you, but because you're so pessimistic and wanting this, whatever it is, this fantasy, you can't even see it. But you do have somebody better suited for you, but you're going to have to take a risk. And let go of that relationship that is no more. It's done. It's completed. It's over. There's no happily ever after with whatever it is that you are fantasizing about. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. And I'm sure I'll get a comment underneath. You don't do anything good for Libras. Or blah, 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 blah. Whatever. That's vindictiveness. That's fine. Go for it. Doesn't bother me. This has nothing to do with Libra per sign. It has nothing to do with the sign. This is the message that's coming out. For you guys. Somebody is in an unhappy situation and not allowing themselves to fall in love with a better suitor because they're holding on to a fantasy. And that's not my problem. There's an opportunity for new love here. But you are not investing in it. You're not giving it your time. You're not putting effort into new love. This is unrealistic. You're holding on to an unrealistic situation when you are being given a divinely guided new opportunity. For love. Somebody wants you. There's a be an opportunity for a new beginning. But you're not you're not seeing your worth. You're not seeing your worth. It's time to change your course. It's a change of course. It is. This is destiny. There's a destined change of course for you. That is going to bring you something better. You have a better opportunity with somebody that is better suited for you. That is going to make you extremely happy. Is when, when you let go of this fantasy that you have been hanging on to. That somebody is going to come back. So I believe that you will probably receive a message this week. Or you have, or this month, you have been receiving some sort of offer of love. But you may be rejecting it, thinking that you're going to miss an opportunity with Mr. Wrong. Mr. or Mrs. Wrong. Mr. or Mrs. Wrong is long gone. And it's time to get realistic, because you're not being realistic. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Virgo or Capricorn could be any sign but you're not being realistic you're not grounded there's no more partnership with whoever it is that you have hung on to they're not coming back and there's an opportunity for you to receive a blessing good luck Whatever is happening is going to bring you something better. There's a reason why this didn't work out. Because you have a better opportunity with somebody that you are better suited for. That is waiting to come into your life. I think it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you have to allow it. 
this person is going to be your justice even though you don't see it. They're going to help to bring balance back to your life. They have a lot to offer. You deserve to receive. But you're clinging to the memories of the past. I know that you are. And it's time to let that past go. It's done. It's over. It's done. 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 You need to have self-worth and self-love and self-respect. You have grown through this process. And you are worthy. You deserve to be cherished. You deserve to be put on that pedestal. And you deserve to be chased. And people can see your beauty. They can see the love that you have to offer. And somebody absolutely positively wants to offer you something. But you have your guard up. And you're in no hurry to let anybody in because you're waiting for Mr. Wrong or Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Wrong. It's time to see things from that new perspective, don't you think? It's time for you to get back to reality. You have a new offer coming in because that is exactly what you deserve. But you, you don't dare to. You don't dare to commit. You don't dare to let yourself be happy because you're still waiting for the for ding dong over there. Reluctant to move on with anybody else. It's time to take that next step. Stop closing off your heart. You're hanging around for no reason. You're sacrificing yourself for no reason. It's a false contract. You have somebody else. There's consequences for holding on to a dead end situation because you have somebody that's better suited for you. What the fuck are you doing? You have somebody that's better suited for you that wants to love you. I suggest you let them in. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child. That's a big one, isn't it? Require love, affection, and attention. You deserve it, did I not tell you? We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you, including your inner child. You need to be loved. Stop waiting for fantasy. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith in love, dearest one. This person that wants to love you could lead to marriage and a wedding. Pure. Purity. It's divinely guided union. Please let go of the dead-end situation. That's a fantasy. That's what I have. Talk to you next week.